This is early kick-off with our guest this morning, the Athletics football correspondent David Ornstein and broadcaster Kweku Afari. We're going to talk Everton. It looks like it's down to three. Vitor Pereira, Frank Lampard, Duncan Ferguson will discuss the vacant managerial position before the owner, Fahad Mashiri, makes the final decision on who will replace Rafa Benitez. 11 chaotic days. So, uh, David Ornstein, what are your waters telling you? Chaotic is one way of describing it. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a tricky time at Everton, to say the least. But they appear to be drawing towards a conclusion in this managerial search because Farhad Mashiri, as I reported on The Athletic yesterday, uh, was flying into the UK to oversee the finalisation of this process, which is the latest round of interviews today. Uh, we know that Frank Lampard's still in the frame. We know Vito Pereira of Sky Sports News fame <laughs> is in the frame. And it would appear Duncan Ferguson makes up the options too. Huge decision for Mashiri. I'm sure he's got a lot going around in his head. Pereira has been in the frame, I think it's four times before. Um, I understand that he had been offered it in the past, um, only for... Everton to decide to go for Carlo Ancelotti when he became available. Um, Frank Lampard's a really interesting possibility. Did well at Chelsea, which a lot of people seem to forget, um, and Derby before that. And so if Everton were going to give him this opportunity, I'm fascinated to see how it will work out back in management. Um, and Duncan Ferguson, of course, is the Evertonian through and through. And he knows the players, the staff and everybody inside out. Uh, I was told yesterday that there are other names under consideration, but it does feel from reports especially that those are the three being focused on. And my information is that they want to make an appointment before the transfer window closes so that a manager will be able to have some level of influence over last minute recruitment. I think in these final round of interviews, they are going to mention targets that they've been looking at and see whether the candidates are keen to bring them into the club and how they might work in their team. And so that if an appointment is made, they could very quickly do some work uh, before that deadline at 11 p.m. on Monday. It's leaving it late. Um, it's flying on the seat of their pants. But Everton um, are keen to um, try and move things in the right direction. Don't forget, they've got a strategic review ongoing. They've got a new stadium on the way in uh, 2024. And so hopefully for them and their fans, finally, they start to claw themselves in the right direction and away from relegation threat, which is, I think, yeah. a serious Yeah, I, can't, serious I can't. I can't let you dangle that line out there without pressing you on it. Other names in the frame? What other names? No, I, don't, I, I genuinely don't know who other names are in, are in the frame. I just know that they would have had a, a larger pool of candidates okay. um, and it seems that they funneled them into these final okay. three or maybe even two. Gotcha. Yep. Waiku, if those three gentlemen were sitting opposite you in an interview and you've spoken to them, which one do you think you might be going for? Let's put you in <laughs> Mashiri's position today. You can't ask me that question as a man who she follows Chelsea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if, 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 if Frank Lampard was sitting in front of me, it would be very difficult not to be enamoured by the man who had never seen European in 2012. But if I'm being if I'm being completely honest, I think Vitor Pereira has got the pedigree, he's got the resume, he's won, won league titles in uh, Portugal. Frank Lampard, like they've touched on, people forget how good of a job he did at Chelsea. This is a Chelsea team that um, had the transfer ban, lost their best player in Eden Hazard, um, and he led them to four for core that team were applying their trade in the championship uh, just the year prior in Tammy Abraham, Reese James and Mason Mount. Um, so Frank Lampard would be a great option for Everton to bring excitement to the fans as well. Uh, we saw the bust up that he had of Jurgen Klopp at the back end of his first season at Chelsea. So he definitely, he definitely would have uh, um, made himself very, very accustomed to Everton fans who would, who would love to see that. But I feel like Frank Lampard would be a good option for them. But Vitor Pereira would probably be the best option just because of his pedigree and what and what he's done before in the game. Duncan Ferguson is a man who knows the club well, but maybe this is just a, a maybe a, a job too big for for a man stepping into his first permanent role. So I think Vitor Pereira, after his Sky Sports interview, where he <laughs> he, he discussed how the sausage was made, is probably the best option for Everton at this point. Just to make it absolutely clear, if Frank Lampard and Duncan Ferguson want to come on Sky Sports News as well, we're, <laughs> we're, we welcome. can treat everybody com completely fairly. Quick, does it feel like the fans are playing a big part? I don't know, too big a part or the right part in this appointment? Well, it's it's. Everton is a very, very emotional club. In terms of you look at the fan base, we saw videos of Bill Kenwright being confronted by the by the fans after the last game. They've not seen much success in the last couple of decades, so we can understand why emotions are high at Goodison Park. I, I feel like 
with with fans and the reaction to the Vitor Pereira interview, we always ask for for honesty in football. We ask for transparency, and then when we get it, we kind of we turn our nose up at it and be like, "Why are we being told this?" So I feel like with with Everton's fans' reaction to Vitor Pereira's interview, Sky Sports News, which is incredible TV, by the way, I I, I feel like it's just it's a it's a knee jerk reaction to seeing something that they've never seen before. It, but I, if if that's going to compromise it in terms of being being the court of public opinion, then I don't feel like that should be taken into consideration because I feel like he is a good manager with a good pedigree and he'll do a good job if he comes in for Everton as a manager.